guys welcome and welcome all to my channel if you are seeing my face for the first time you are welcome hugs and kisses to you so don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share with your friends and join this family so guys to my returning subscribers thank you so much guys for always stopping by to support your girl without further ado guys let's talk about this video i've had a lot of these questions like I, I can't even remember how many times I've come across this on my Instagram, on my WhatsApp, on, you know, on Facebook, on YouTube, like, it's so without further ado, let's get right into this video. Here's a disclaimer. I'm not an immigration officer or a career advisor or anything of that sort this is based strictly based on my personal research and personal experience okay okay so the question is this one here uh usually i have people asking me hi joyce how are you doing i want to study nursing in zambia but i don't know how to go about it so in this video that is exactly what we're going to talk about i have to be looking down because i have to take down some points you know <laughs> I had to take down some points. So, the first things, oh, this is how we're going to discuss them. We'll look at the nursing schools, the fees, and we'll also look at the requirements for Zambians and the non Zambians. Okay? So, to start with, what as one started with the requirement the fees of course we'll start with the requirements because that's what's important people have been asking me i don't know how to go about it so let's talk about the requirements what do you need for you to come and study in zambia as a nurse or as a student to come and study nursing okay so the first thing that you need to have of course is the copies of the acceptance letter copies of the acceptance letter you have to of you have to apply to a school you pick your school the nursing schools you pick them we have government schools or what you call state schools in other countries and then you have the private institutions which you have to take a pick from yeah and the fees at the private institutions you can agree with me that they are really really expensive because it's a private institution so you pick your school once you pick that school, you apply to it as you're applying for that make sure you have your documents ready the necessary documents okay because when as you're applying to that particular school you will have to um, to you will have to attach your your all levels uh, your all levels the five all levels or your grade twelve certificates. So you have to have those documents ready. Okay. So we we'll talk about the copies of the acceptance letters. That is when you've applied and you've been selected. The next one we we'll talk about, of course, is your grade twelve certificates or your five all levels, which should stand. I repeat, which should stand or should be at five credits or better five credits or better so i will set a picture right here that is going to show you exactly what i mean by five credits or better right so that's what you can see there we have the merits the distinctions and all that so you need to have that okay another thing we're going to talk about is your national registration card you need to have your nrc national registration card whether zambian or whether international you need to have that document okay you need to have it ready i will also let me just show you what i'm talking about okay so you need to have your national registration card like this this is the one we use in my country that's it but yeah there are my details there <laughs> yes so this is what you need to have passport size photos something like this you need to have this like i talked about them earlier and then you also need to have uh, actually you need to have photocopies not the original you need to have photocopies as you're presenting them to the school you also need to have valid take note you need to have valid immigration and passport documents you need to have your passports and your valid immigration documents you don't want to have issues with you know the immigration the home the home is it the home office <laughs> yes you don't want to have problems with that office you know you're going to another country so even if it's close to your country you know you have to have your documents ready you don't want to be in trouble with these people so what else do you need to have you also need to have your results verification by ecz you need to have your passport size photos like i said those the small photos that i just showed you earlier the passport size photographs you need to have them usually they request for two 
So, and usually when you're capturing, they'll capture, I think they'll give you four of them when you're captured here in Zambia. And then you have your result verification by ECZ, which is Examination Council of Zambia. So you take your results there at the office, okay? Then they'll verify them. Say, so, okay, these are legit. These are original. These are okay. These are not faked because we have people who fake their results. They failed a lot of times, but they still have, I don't know how they do it. They manage to fake. They pay someone the money. Okay, and then you need to have your study permit, of course. You're coming to study in Zambia. You need to have your study permit. You need to have uh, money for your medical fees. And then, so, what? something I also forgot uh, on the result verification by Examination Council of Zambia. You can also take your, your documents to um, ZAKA, which is Zambia Qualifications Authority. This is for international students, okay? I remember, I'm not international, of course, I'm Zambian. Yes, <laughs> I'm not international, I'm Zambian. Yeah, but despite that, when I was going to get my license, my practicing license as a nurse, I was, we were required actually to take our documents for verification to Zambia Qualifications Authority. And then the letter told us we can take to Examination Council of Zambia, but either way, you still have to pay both places. So if you're taking your documents to Zambia Qualifications Authority, this is mostly for... Uh, for international students or even someone who practices in Zambia but or who learned or who did their training in Zambia they still need to take their documents to Zambia's qualifications authority to ensure that your documents are verified and you pay somewhere I think a 50 quarter that's how much we paid a 50 quarter is roughly uh, three three point something dollars yes something like that so everything roughly so this research that I did this is okay this research that i did personal research is from a private institution so roughly it will take you to somewhere twenty thousand kwacha for you to just get everything in place okay like to just have everything put in place your documents i won't talk about it i mean accommodation and catering no that will depend on the school that you're picking so roughly for this private institution that most people go to is somewhere twenty thousand kwacha or twenty thousand twenty one thousand kwacha yes and then that's equivalent to one thousand two hundred and sixty nine us dollars one thousand two hundred and sixty nine us dollars that's roughly that amount so but if you're going to a pri uh, a, a state school like i was at i was at a state school i asked one of my uh my former principal tutor he told me if someone wants to come to zambia to study they need to have a study permit but if you can get a chance hear me clearly if you can get a chance you can manage to apply to a state college they accept you do that because you know they are cheap so me at the school where i was at i paid roughly for the starting year we paid somewhere 2500 kwacha that's how much we paid because the first year always when you're starting because you have to put a lot of things in place that's the reason why it's expensive hence the fees as to why the that particular private or this particular institution that i used to research came to 20,000 20, or 21,000 kwacha because you know when you're putting things in place the first year always whatever school wherever you're going to apply it's always expensive because you're trying you know to put things in place so don't be discouraged okay okay <laughs> And then you're going to a different country. But if you won't manage, you can't manage or you won't manage to be accepted and put in place or or given an acceptance letter, then go for the private institution for as long as you come to Zambia to practice, to, to tr be trained. Because I'm hearing you people want to come to Zambia to be trained. So guys, that's all I had for you today. If you have any questions, further questions, you can leave them in the comment section below. That way I'll be able to respond to you. I'll respond to you in the comment section right there and then because I'm very active on my all my social media platforms. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share to your friends who want to come and study nursing in Zambia. Okay, don't forget to subscribe. I love you guys. Bye.